everybody. It's time for If Kate Can Do It, You Can Do It Crafts. This is going to be our last session for a while. So um, Kathy and I have gathered a lot of books to talk about today. And we have a few extra things that we want to share with you because the craft really is not so much a craft as a coloring page, multiple pages, really. It's so, a lovely craft. It's a beautiful craft, and it'll be great for gift giving in the Ooh, what a lovely weeks. idea. <clears throat> All right, so I'd like to start with some upcoming events in uh, youth services. We are going to have a life-sized Candyland event. I think that. It's going to be way cool. Yes, I know a, gra a certain grandmother who's bringing her young grandson to that. That, that. that would be me. <laughs> that is Wednesday, December 28th from 2 to 3.30. So we're hoping that you'll be able to join us for that. It's going to be a lot of fun, I think. Also, I want to remind you that ongoing, there's going to be fold-at-home origami. Those are going to come out on the 3rd Monday of every month. Is that right? Yes, the third Monday of every month there will be a special origami project that um, Benjamin will put together for you. That's actually going to take the place of the take and makes for a while. For a while, yeah. yeah. Um, there's uh, going to be food for thought on um, the first Wednesday of the month. So actually, if you're watching this um, that is Kate's Early on, program, yeah, it's and out. it's a wonderful program, yep. so I would encourage you, and it's especially good for moms who, or dads who work, and because it's a very yeah. early evening program. Yes, at 6 o'clock on the first uh, Monday of the month, you could join us for Food for Thought with your emergent reader. We, we, we look for people roughly from 3 to 8 who are just starting to be interested in reading. And eating. And also, don't forget tween scene. This month it's going to be Holiday Iron Chef, which Kathy is famous for her Holiday Iron Chef event. Tween scene is my, oh, there it is. Wednesday, okay. December 21st at 6. And you do need to register for tween scene. Yes, because I'm going to have a table full of all sorts of things to make an appetizer, a meal, entree, and a dessert. Not that anyone will probably want to eat them, since they will be made with candy and syrup and pretzels and spaghetti yes, and all sorts of things. All right, and don't forget, Barks and Books happens on the second Friday of every month, and um, that is at 3.15 to 4.15 on the second Friday of each month. And we have three spaces left for December, so if anyone would like to register, please call. And all these things Kate and I just talked about are um, on our calendar that I that we have in you services. And I could probably post that, don't you? Right, think? I think probably. I think I could. You could also find them on our website. Yep. Or in our newsletter. All right. Okay. So without oh, further ado, one oh, last thing. Oh, one more. Thing. Don't forget that the wonderful boys, young men from the Nordiques, are still coming the first two Tuesdays of December. Okay, great. All right. All right. So calendar to color for 2023 is our project for December, with spaces for your four by six photographs or illustrations. Well, that's cool. And Miss Leanne designed this. You know it's gonna be yeah, lovely. Yeah, Miss Leanne designed this absolutely beautiful calendar. And so the idea is you will pick this calendar up and you will color and decorate each page. You can illustrate this spot here or you can include a photograph that well, you think really would be cool. great. And then it can be your calendar for the year, or you could give it as a gift. This may be so, what Leo's going to give his mother. Oh, Leo okay. would be my grandchild. So this is what Leanne has started a calendar for you to see how it can look when you get going Ooh. on it. She's colored this page beautifully. And then she has done a beautiful page with her family featured. Oh, I love it. Isn't that gorgeous? It is gorgeous. So this gives you an idea of what you can do with this beautiful calendar. And I believe it will be all put together and bound. So all you'll That's have right. to do is make it your own by coloring and adding photos or drawings. That's right. So that is our craft 
for December. Not much to do for that, so we thought instead we would demonstrate for you our Goodread Centipede. Okay. Which, oh, we forgot to do the books. I was going to say, aren't we doing first, books first? First, we'll do the books. Okay. So the books featuring seasons, I couldn't find any books about specifically about calendars, but boy, did we have a lot about seasons. This one is called Mouse Seasons by Leo Leone. Oh, and, he's so fun. Yes, and it it's just so much fun. And it tells about who is responsible for causing the seasons. Oh, good to know. Turns out it's four little mice. Well, who geez, I might have to read it. Yeah, it was great. Okay, Snowy, Flowy, Blowy by Nancy Tafuri is a 12 months rhyme. There's a little rhyme and beautiful, beautiful illustrations. Oh my gosh. Yes, again, one. she's a wonderful For every month. And for December, we have Freezy. I like the cat. Yes. All right. And we also have My Love for You All Year Round, which um, every month has a little gentler than a newborn lamb in March is how much they love you in March. That's a mouse again. Another See, mouse. The yep. mice the really mice do are... do the seasons, Kate. This is one of my favorites, The Year at Maple Hill Farm. And it tells you what goes on in the farm in all seasons. And this one says, December is the first month, first winter month. The ground is often covered with snow. The days are dark and cold, and the night falls early. Well, that's certainly true. Oh, gosh, yes. We have some nonfiction, um, Our Seasons by Grace Lynn. I don't think I said the author of some of these. That's okay, Kate. You think it's okay? All right. Um, seasons, these, it tells actually what causes the season scientifically. No mice. <laughs> yes, in, in uh, that one, it might not be caused by mice. Seasons by Heidi Gonell, I think is how you say her name. Talks about what you can do in the seasons. This little girl loves to splash in puddles in Don't spring. Don't all children like to splash in puddles? I think probably. And this is a beautiful A Season of Flowers by Michael Garland. And that was one that I saved because I thought it was so beautiful. Oh, oh wow. Now we slumber and wait for rebirth. We are nature's great gift to the earth. That is beautiful. Isn't that lovely? Who wrote that? That is Michael Garland. Wow. And... We're still going. Yep. The Turning of the Year by Illustrated, oh, by Bill Martin Jr. Oh, does he do brown beer brown? He does. In December, autumn calls. It's warning. Get ready for a winter morning. But he didn't illustrate this. One. No, it's illustrated by Greg, Greg Shedd. Nice. This one was suggested by Miss Leanne. I love girl. this book so much. Red and Lulu, and it just has its... Uh, an author with main with main roots, Matt Traveris. And beautiful, and beautiful. Look at the fabulous illustrations for a beautiful holiday book. Oh my goodness, there we are. The Chrysler building, I think. Oh. Or maybe it's the Empire State. Oh, look at that gorgeous picture of the car. I forget Isn't which he beautiful? Is. Yeah. He's red, obviously. He's definitely red. Because oh, Lulu okay. is the other Lulu one. Lulu is the other one. That's right. And finally we have Maurice Sendak, Chicken Soup with Rice, A Book of Months. Which and is Kate's personal favorite. That is favorite. one of my favorite books. So that is what I thought we would use for our Goodread Centipede. Centipede. So to do the Goodread Centipede, uh, the materials are all ready for you in the, in the um, children's area of the library. And all you need to do is have in mind a book that you really like and would like to suggest to others to read. Right. And you write down the title of the book. Yes, see, I tell people they don't have to write their favorite book because I don't know about you, but I have so right. many favorites. Yeah, any book any that book you, you like. think you would like to share. And you can share more than one. Good, Chicken because this is your soup. second. That's right. Chicken Not Soup with Rice. And the author's name is Maurice Sendak. Sendak. Didn't he do Where the Wild Things Are? He did. And your first thing. Ta-da! And then you cut it out. Then you cut it out. With your safe scissors, Kate. Your children's scissors. Now, if you're at the library, 
just ask us for scissors. We don't leave the scissors out because we want people to be safe, of course. So once you get this far, come over to the desk and ask whoever's there if you could please borrow a pair of scissors for the Goodreads Centipede. And then if you can return them to the desk, that would be just wonderful. Then once you get it done, bring it back to the desk and we'll help you put it up. Did you want to show them the centipede? Ah, uh, yes, I thought I would, but before we do that, we're gonna add a leg onto our centipede. Oh, forgot the leg. There's the leg. Now it's ready to be hung. Oh, you can't Got it? see it. There we can, if I hold it against your dress, you okay. can see it. Okay. All right, so let's take a little break. We'll go over to the children's room and Kathy and I will show you the Goodread centipede and add this one to it. Hi everybody, we're back at the Goodread Centipede Station in Youth Services. So you see the materials you need are right here. Um, some of the books that other people have suggested, many of them have already been checked out, but some of the ones that have been suggested on the Goodread Centipede are here on the table and people can check them out so people will be maybe taking you up on your suggestion. Exactly. So here we go, Kathy. We're going to go over here. To okay, as we walk there, yes? tell them about these wonderful llamas. Oh, yes. We have beautiful llamas that were donated by one of our volunteers. Who quilted this, Yes, right? she made that for us, and it's absolutely beautiful. We're I very, love it. It really dresses up this area, I think. Oh, and moving on to our amazing centipede. Here's our beautiful centipede and all the pieces of its body that people have made suggestions. Look at how long the centipede is. It's across coming. a whole wall. It is, it is, and we're heading almost to the windows. It's a very long centipede. Here we go, yes. We it's turn the great. corner. Kate has to turn the corner to yes. the window. How and are we going to do we that? Go. Oh, okay, that works. Ta-da! Yay! Chicken yeah. soup with the rice. And then we'll go across the window. Then we'll go across the window. But, oh my gosh, Kate, it's so long I can't even get in. I'm going to have to move back so people can see how big this okay. centipede is. Back, back. See how big that is? I'm so proud. Yay! Yay! Thank, thank everybody who's contributed. And we hope you come in and help us make it even longer. We want to go around the whole library. We do. Okay. Thanks, everybody. See you. Bye-bye. Yeah.